So my, my, my audio is not about up, uh, you know, that, that, that vocals can go that high anyway. But, uh, you know, uh, 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 10 and a half, about, about 11, yeah, 10 and a half, about 11 kilocycles is about where this thing is brick walled on the audio side. Yeah, that's where you're at. I got mine's brick walled at 10 kilocycles. That's where I got mine's at, brick walled at 10, uh, 10 kilocycles. And I just opened up the receive too, man. I'm rolling a little gate as well. I'll throw it up on YouTube. too. But yeah, you're sounding good, man. Sounding real good, Mustang 131. I enjoy this, uh, this radio I've been working with for the last eight months or whatnot. It's, uh, it's a whole new ball game. I'll tell you that, man. It, it's a lot of fun. And it, it works real good going into these Russian girls. 301 in the BAM. Hey, uh, 301, if you don't mind going up, uh, take it up to maybe the channel 30. I want to hear that wideband audio, man. I want to check that thing out if you hear me. Go to channel 34. I got locals on 30. Hey, this one we got. Hey, Mustang Audi at Mustang Radio, 301 in the BAM. Hey, Mustang Radio, 301. What the fuck? Mustang, I think, 301. Houston, 27, number 23. Eight, 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 Derail here's him back. Hey Mustang, go to twenty seven three four five. Go to three four five. I go to three four five. Three zero one and the BAM's waving. Roger, roger. Testies one, testies two, testies one, two, three, three, zero, one, 131. Trying to make it on back to the BAM. Come on. Yeah, we got you in there, Mustang. We got you in there. I've been running a live video feed on Facebook. I know you don't do Facebook, but I just hit the record button. I'm, I'm going to uh, record a little gate over here as well. 42 on the gate, man. Yeah, that, that boy, I guess, you've always sounded real good. And it sounded like whatever you've done out there, um, it sounded like you stepped up your game quite a bit. Because, uh, boy, that audio, whatever you're running there, man, it just it grabs your attention. You know, because I, 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 you know, I'm just lazy. I just keep my audio wide open. And uh, when you hear, you know, the treble, man, it just died. What a difference, man. That thing really does sound good. You get that thing dialed in. I appreciate it, man. I've worked really hard on it. You know, it's not that far from Dave May Technology. You know, Dave, he, he does some other special things to his new stuff, but I'm basically using the same kind of board, the Apache Labs board. So, I mean, it it ain't that much difference. I mean, there is, he, he does like, he's got his own circuit board that he has up to it and whatnot, but it, it's not far from what he's doing there, Break. Yeah, ten four. Yeah, I'm familiar with he's got. I got a friend that's. Uh, he's actually. He's gonna be picking it up hopefully fairly soon. He's uh, got one of my radios and. Uh, I, I've seen. I'll, you know, be honest with you. If I had that kind of money, I. I, I don't know. I probably would buy one because the. Uh, it's it's such a, you know, it's just pretty much amazing to get. I mean, dollar, for, you know, for what it does, but. Um, you know, I don't even have time enough to use this radio what I got, much less all the other features. You know, going down from DC to uh, 30 megahertz and all the modes and everything else, man. But, yeah, that's a one, one, one heck of a radio. You know, if you can do it on the cost-effective, 
you know, that's, that's the way to go. Um, <clears throat> minus all the uh, audio processing and everything else. But if you're running the similar board, man, I mean, it's just, it, it's, it's got that, uh, like Dave's got that pre-distortion thing. And, uh, man, it, it, it just eliminates all that noise, that, that, that trebly kind of sound and the uh, mud, you know, the muddiness of the, uh, of the bass, you know, he eliminated all that crap, and it's just, just absolutely, you know, perfect perfection, but, um, if you didn't tell me what you, you know, if you, if you told me you're running a full-blown, uh, you know, Dave May transmitter, I wouldn't know the difference, that thing is just smooth, and it looks good, and it sounds great, man, so yeah, kudos to you, man, you get that. I've heard you before. You always sounded good, but, man, that thing is... And maybe it's just been a while, but I don't know, man, but it just sounds dialed in. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a lot different. And um, I just turned on my pre-distortion pre, uh, pure signal. I just turned that on. I normally don't run it too much. But uh, hold on here. Let me turn the carrier down. Okay. There we go. I had to carry up too much. I was running about 2,500 watt dead key. I turn it down a little. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's not much difference, but it's, I'm not using, I'm using my own uh, process audio because the uh, audio processor that's in on the uh, software, it sucks. I mean, I know all the hams use it and whatnot, but but it, it's it just sucks. <laughs> it sucks real bad. So I use my own processor. And uh, I, I use a software processor, uh, my own plugins and whatnot. And uh, I've worked on it for a long. I'm still working on it. I'm still trying to perfect the audio. I'm still working on it, you know. But uh, I'm getting to where I want it, and I'm real happy with it. I got to get everything out of my room. I don't know if you have this problem, but the noise of the blowers just really messes with the audio, or the quality of the audio. And I got to run the noise gate up so high, but I'm gonna I'm gonna relocate all this junk on the other side of the room where it'll be real nice and quiet, and I don't have all them blowers in my microphone. You probably know what I'm talking about there, but I appreciate the flowers, man. We've been um, it's been a goal of mine to have really nice audio, and that, and uh, I'm one of those people where I just don't quit. I just keep on going until I get what I want. <laughs> and we still ain't quitting, but uh, we we keep working it all out. But uh yeah, no doubt about it. A Mustang 301 in the bam. I'm running there too window. Oh, yeah. put it on my YouTube page. And I think you'll be pretty happy with 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 the uh, what you're hearing there. It's a directly at the radio. Yeah, the noise gate, man. That's one thing I always, um, uh, he goes, uh, yeah, I can, uh, you know, obviously the, uh, the, the first generation of radio is, uh, noisier than hell. The fan on this thing is just, they turn the audio all the way up. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, it's just, it's the logistics of the room. You know, I've got the uh, the radio. It's a it's a you know the directional microphone, uh, the the PR the Puerto Rican 40 microphone. I got the thing. Uh, it's pointed in the opposite direction of the uh, the, the transmitter and the, the amplifier, so it's pointed in the opposite direction. So that way we're not pointing. Uh, we, we shouldn't be picking up any noise and uh, maybe minimal. Uh, high frequency noise. I know it's going to be a little bit. Always, it's always going to be some uh, high frequency noise rolling in there, but uh, it's just trying trying to minimize, you know, minimize the radio. But I don't know if you're familiar with this one. This is like the, like the first freaking one, <laughs> and before before the SDRs. I mean, this is the the uh, the ones that are actually uh, hand wired. It's literally a transmitter. It's not. It's not an SDR of any sort. It's not a computer. It's not. It's not digital. Even though he calls it a digital transmitter, there's nothing digital about it. It's just a uh, hand-wired uh, transmitter with no computer at all. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've seen them. I know which one. You you got the very first gen. And I saw like the second or third gen one. It's basically the same thing. And then his newest one has got the. Uh, 
the uh, Aeon board inside of it, the Apache Labs board, so he doesn't have to deal with the receiver stuff. Because the, the one before that, you know, he had to have the, uh, he had the receiver, like, on onto the side, that SDR receiver, and had to have all the relay systems in there to make all that work. But now with the uh, Aeon boards, you don't have to do none of that. And it also samples, the Aeon board will sample what's coming out of your final PA, and that's what gives you your pre-distortion, where it's a, uh, you don't have no ID stuff going off to the side of each side of the uh, carrier. Basically, very, very sharp filters in it. Super, super sharp filters. But you're sharp too, man. I'm looking on the screen here. I mean, it's just, you know. But that, that's Dave May's signature, man. You know what you, you, when you see on the screen, you know when a Dave May transmitter comes on because it's that sharp brick wall, sharp filter, and, and you know that's, that's what they're talking on. <laughs> Basically, I mean, that's what this does too, but. It's awesome, man, and I, I I love it. I would love to have to have a Dave May transmitter as well, but but you know how that goes, man. And uh, there's such a huge ladder to get to get to that point. So you know, I was like, I'm just gonna figure something else out on my own, and this is what I did. I went this route, and I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, it sounded real good. Yeah, it's even sharper. Um, when when I run my air audio narrow. You probably can tell them I got this audio just basically wide open. And you know, it certainly helps because there is splatter. <clears throat> I, I, I can see it. <laughs> it's there. I mean, it's not perfect. Yeah, I can lower that a little bit here and uh, make it a little less and just lose a little bit on the highs. Most people will notice. I know you will, but uh, most people won't. And uh, just eliminate it just a little bit, or just just make it a little cleaner there. Yellow one two, one two three. But yeah, man. Uh, <clears throat> well, yeah, roughly. Uh, what are we doing here? About about 160, about 100. Yeah, on the peaks there, about 160 percent on the positive, and uh, just just touching, just touching the negative. So just almost shutting off the carrier. Not quite. Just just about. Not that it would make much difference on this design anyway, because it would just reverse everything anyway. So, <laughs> you know what that is? But it does produce uh, some distortion, even though it never really technically pinches off the carrier. Uh, it just reverses everything, which really makes you when, you... when you first put it up on the scope, it does make things a little confusing, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, I was looking at those Aeons, and uh, I can't wait. I'm going to open maybe in the fall. Uh, I'm looking, looking to go out there. I was going to be to a shop uh, last fall and uh, check things out, but um, I was just so freaking busy with my family and everything else. You know, I was, uh, and, uh, you, you know what it is. You go down there and it, 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 it's dedication. I mean, you just waste all freaking day and some down there. You just, uh, I would have to go by, I, I would have to go by, all by myself. <laughs> Which I would love to do. You know, just have some fun, man. Go down there and party, and, uh, and check out check out all those gadgets. I really I really miss that kind of shit. Really pressing now to get a mobile. You know, uh, what I really really want is a, a mobile 50, 48 volt mobile system. Cause I'm doing up my truck, and uh, I, I want I want want everything to be going out 48 volt MOSFETs. I don't want this 12 volt crap no more. I want everything you know, brand new, 48 volt, just like he makes his, uh, his little boxes out there, the little 48 volt uh, boxes. Yeah, I want everything. Uh, it would be nice to, uh, nice to get 48 volt out of the mobile. But you, you can get the uh, uh, 48 volt Lee Snavile alternators and the batteries and uh, all that good stuff. You know, it's time to make some mobile boxes. So I know, I know it's in the works, but uh, damn it, I'm looking, looking to pick something like that up. So uh, anyway, I still got the gate rolling. Hopefully we got a little bit of Mother Nature. Bring it all back to 301 and the BAM with a good sound and transmitter. 131 with no key down time. Getting down. Oh, yeah, yeah. That Mother Nature was going in and out. And uh, Mother Nature has a lot to do with it when you're looking at the uh, waterfall on how sharp your filters are. 
Like when you got really, really good Mother Nature when I had it on you earlier, you could see that the filters were, you could see that it was real sharp. And also I heard you talking that you said your antenna is probably not tuned. And a lot of people don't realize, man, that affects your audio big time too, is when, you're, when your antenna is not tuned correctly, that will affect the audio. Um, I've learned that in the broadcast industry. But, uh, but yeah, man, this is pretty awesome, man. I've been, I've been wanting to get in your radio for a while. It's, uh, so it's pretty awesome. And I just got my Heliax coax this week. Got my Heliax. Um, I've been working on getting the, uh, concrete and all that for the new tower. And now I'll, I'll be swinging 360 degrees. I'm only on the ground plane. And I know you're on the ground plane too. So we're like, that makes it even tougher. <laughs> Being, it's like being handicapped in a wheelchair. But you said you're going to get those uh, 48 volts. Yeah, that's the way to go. That is definitely the way to go, and those things are robust. Those trans, those transistors, they take, a, they take a lot of abuse, especially the ones that are in the uh, transmitter. You're probably talking about the same, uh, same ones there. And he's got all those boards. I know, he, I know they were saying, I, I thought about having him build me a 32-pill of one of those have two sixteen two sixteens and then combined them together we uh, actually talked about that before I ended up getting uh, my 3000 that's what I'm on right now is a 3000 I only got it keyed up at two grand but uh I can't go any higher than that because my coax my coax won't take it man Uh, the LMR 400 won't take it so it is what it is, but I got the uh, got the Heliax half inch. Um, I got everything I need now, man. Everything I got, everything I need in the garage. Now it's just putting it up in the air. And once I get all that up in the air, I'm pretty sure we won't have no Mother Nature for probably a year or so. <laughs> Ava Mustang 131, I skate still rolling 301 in a bam. And that was 100% copy. Yeah, 100% copy on that and uh, full, uh, full copy all around. Yeah, copy on that, man. And uh, yeah, that 3000 sounded good. That, that's all I'm running right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm really just baby this thing right now. It's, uh, you know, my SWRs are really, you know, really off the charts on this thing. It's uh, The wind's been blowing around. I never tuned it up. It's wet out here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm just running uh, LMR 600, but I got LC connectors on everything, so I'm old school. I got LC connectors on this, and then I, uh, up, up, up to the shockwave, I just directly just soldered, I twisted it around and just soldered the damn thing, and didn't even bother with the connection. I just wrapped it a few times, make it battle and keep the, cold, uh, the RF from uh, making it down the line. But, um, it is, this thing is actually uh, no problem, man. The guy who built this, you know, it's, not, it's not a Dave made amplifier, but um, it's, it's actually <laughs> it's quite a bit better, to be honest with you. Not that there's anything wrong with Dave, but uh, the power supply he builds on this thing is just phenomenal. Uh, you know, with a 3,000, it would just sit back and hold uh, 10 grand plus all day long, and without any problem, I mean... <clears throat> Just sit back with yellow. Here you go, 10 grand. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, and uh, bring it back down. Not that I want to run it like that, but uh, <laughs> definitely not with my SWR. Uh, uh, all my reflect uh, completely pinned. <laughs> Had to bring this thing down and tune it. But yeah, I'm like you, man. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. I brought my. Uh, I took my um, beam down because I just wanted to talk to the locals, man. I heard a whole bunch of locals out here I've been talking to in a long time. So I, I figured I'd put up the shockwave and uh, blow some cobwebs off the radio, man. Have some fun. And, uh, yeah, they got me itching. Uh, we're here, your road dog and uh, all those big guns, derail all those big guns out there on the radio, man. I'm just, uh, man, I'm just fired up right now, man. I, I swear to God, tomorrow I'm going to take, um, I got that uh, six-element beam that they built me. And it's just sitting on the ground, so <laughs> it wouldn't take me an hour to get that thing back up on the air. And it, it's 
It's funny. It's so freaking light. The antenna. I mean, it's literally, you can, you can lift that whole thing up with one hand, take a ratchet with the other hand, and, uh, and, and just basically back on the antenna. You don't need any. Yeah, I'm not sure if we lost Mother Nature or not. We, and you might have unkeyed. I'm not sure. And Mother Nature was uh, dipping and diving there. Yeah, the uh, I, the uh, the beam I have built, Chris built it. BM Technology, he built it. It's a uh, it's heavy duty, direct fed. It's got a ballum and it's direct fed. And uh, yeah, and I can't wait to get it up in the air, man. It, it's happening. It, it's going to happen. I don't care what I got to do. I even told the wife, I was like, I think I'm going to put this tower in the front yard. She's like, you're crazy. I'm like, I know I'm crazy. I think I'm just going to put it right in the damn front yard. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if we still got Mother Nature or not. It was dipping and diving there. What else? Oh, another thing. You said you're running at 160%. That's the only downfall with the Apache Labs right now is I'm only like at 120%. Um, can't really get it up that high. I know there's, I know that that's like one of the things that Dave has done to him where he's figured out a way to get, to get that done. But um, it's doing okay for 125, 130%. I mean, I'm getting out there. I've heard some of the gates, the audio sounds strong. Of course, you know, you don't have crazy average swing on the, uh, on the bird meter there, but, uh, but it swings forward as long as I'm getting forward swing. I'm, I'm happy with that. Hey, do we still got Mother Nature Mustang? 301 and a bam. Definitely dipping in the dabbing. So, uh, put a couple more bushels, a couple more bushels on there and see if that helps out a little bit. Oh. Doing about, uh, moved it up a bit. Hopefully that helps. That's about six grand. That's about six grand. I was running about, uh, about two grand before. This is about, uh, about six grand there. Hopefully a little bit of, a little, little bit of a difference. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I hear what you're saying there on the, the Peaks. It doesn't make that much of a difference. And your audio, I think you're going to be really happy with it. You know, people like to see the swing. And um, right now, that's about all I can do. Um, yeah, not even that, man. I'm, yeah, barely. Yeah. Barely doing 120 here. <laughs> but that, you, you figure that out. Well, you know, the equipment I'm running, that's about all you're ever going to be able to max out on anyway. So that, that kind of makes sense. That really does make sense. But um, that, that's sounding absolutely fantastic. But uh, you're right, man. Mother Nature is dipping and dabbing. But I think you're going to be quite happy on them when I get this gate up. Yeah, I can't wait to hear it on a good receiver. I've heard, I've heard, uh... There's a guy in um, Nebraska, and he runs Gates, and I heard it on his receiver, and I was like, man, it sounds good, but I don't think it's real wide, and I actually took the audio, and I ran it through the Spectrum Analyzer just to see how wide it was, and I was right. It was only 5.5K wide, but I want to hear I want to hear on a real wide band receiver. I, I want to hear, hear something on a uh, real wide band receiver. Yeah, everybody wants to see that thing swing, man. They want to see the watt meter swing. Uh, I used to be like that. I'm not going to lie, but I love that audio, man. I will I will sacrifice the watt meter swinging crazy to have good audio. If I had to have the choice, I'm going to pick good audio. Because shoot, I could hook I could hook up this uh Corber 2000 or my Motor Moth Mall radio and get all kinds of crazy swing, but but you sacrifice the audio there. But uh, but yeah, that's that's how I roll. <laughs> it's getting high in here too, man. That's another thing, man. Once this stuff starts running after a while, I'm like, damn, 
I start burning up in this shack. So I, I, this stuff is definitely going in the other room. I'm in my basement. I got all the stuff in the basement. And there's another room beside me. And I'm putting all this hot ass shit. And it's going to the other room because uh, cause it's hot right now. <laughs> 301 in the BAM is hot. Break, break, break. All right, dear 301, I'm going to have to run. My wife is going to come up here, um, going to beat me over the head, man. And yeah, she's just rolling in right now, so. Uh, my, my wife's in my, my A bit audio. Here. And uh, say best of 73, man. I got a 100% copy. Now, though. Boy, that radio sounded real good. My son just came in here. How's the baseball game? Did they win? All right, all right. All right. I gotta go, 8301, my wife just rolled in here, so hey, pleasure, I'm gonna get this gate out to you by tomorrow, and uh, man, that thing is sounding sweet, and we still got a copy. Take care of Mr. 301, I gotta get that guy out of here, boy, dirty eye look. <laughs> I got you, Ray, I got you. Ain't no doubt about it, yeah, Mother Nature's going away, and uh... You say your son just came in from the baseball game. Before you go, man, there was a video that you made with you and your kids, and you guys were out in the desert and had all that stuff out there, man. It was like somebody put a bunch of stuff out in the desert, and it was really cool. And I'm like, man, that's a cool place. But all right, 131, it's good talking to you, man. Nice QSO. I love listening to that Dave May transmitter coming in this receiver. Mustang 131, your friend 301 in the BAM, working this Apache Labs, getting down. Click, click. Bum, 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 bum. Bye, 301. All right.